Hi, Brian. This would have been a better question for me to ask you at the owner's breakfast in March in Palm Beach, uh, should we had it, or maybe even to Chris. So forgive me, it's sort of a big picture thing. It became pretty clear that even though this was a rebuilding project, you all wanted to win in year two, uh, you know, just based on personnel decisions you made this offseason, bringing in Byron Jones, Van Noy, et cetera. How important was it for you all to at least be a playoff contender this year, even though it's still fairly early in your program? Uh, <clears throat> I guess part of that uh, question may lead someone to believe that we didn't want to win in year one, um, which wasn't the case, obviously. Um, look, every time we step on the field, we're looking to win. Um, that's how we prepare. Um, that's how we try to, you know, we compete every, every time we step out there. Um, I don't get into, you know, looking into the future about you know, what we want to do or what we want this to look like. We take it really day to day, one game at a time. Um, with the idea that every week we're looking to um, win a football game. So I just don't want to get that confused with, you know, kind of the, 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 the wording of that question. Um, and that's, that's myself, that's Chris, that's ownership, that's everybody. Um, we're, we're always looking to, to, to make um, moves with the, with the idea of, of winning. So, Steve? Coach, uh, when a team has a big lead and there's a lot of time left, it can be a, a challenge striking a balance between staying aggressive and playing conservatively, which leads me to ask you, what was the thought process on the fake punt yesterday? Um, look, we, I think we, in all games, you want to be aggressive. Um, you're right. There's a you know, kind of a, a, a balance you're looking for, but I, I don't think you want to just sit on the ball, you know, early in the third quarter. Uh, you want to be aggressive and we got the look we wanted and we ran it and we were successful. I mean, it's not often you get the look you want um, offensively, defensively, or in, on, in the kicking game. If you get it, you practice it, you're ready to go on it. Um, you, you run the play. So, I think Danny did a great job. Danny Crossman, our special teams coordinator, did a great job <clears throat> drawing up a uh, a fake um, for that specific situation. It came up in the game. Um, and we ran it and um, we got it. And we were successful, and I thought it was. I think it was a big uh, a big play in the game for us. I uh, went down and scored. And, uh, Hi, Brian. Um, earlier today, uh, we were talking about. Christian Wilkins handing you the football and Byron Jones mentioned that uh, he's pretty sure he saw you smile even through your mask. I wanted to give you equal time to either confirm or uh, rebut that. Yeah, I mean, anytime we get a turnover, you know, I'm excited. Um, so, you know, we were, were able to turn the ball over yesterday. So, um, I mean, if you could see the smile through my mask, then, you know, good for those guys. Um, but, you know, anytime we score, every time, anytime we make a, a big play, a big stop uh, defensively, um, which we had some yesterday, anytime we, um, you know, kick a field goal, which Jason did a great job kicking yesterday, or make a play in a kicking game. We had a nice kickoff where we, you know, stopped them inside the 15-yard line. You can, you know, pretty much assume I'm smiling through my mask. So, um, yeah, I guess you could, Byron's, you know, Christian's assessment of that's probably right. I don't know if they saw that, but if they think they did, it's probably a good assessment, probably a good assumption, I would say, in those situations. Hey, Flo, uh, I guess a couple personnel questions, if I could. Um, one, um, what went into the decision to, you know, not have uh, Jordan Howard active um, on Sunday? And then I guess the second one, we saw Noah have a, uh, a decrease in snaps this week. Uh, when Byron returned, is he strictly a, a boundary corner at this point, or do you see him still in the nickel conversation? Um, <clears throat> as 
far as Jordan, I mean, that, this is a decision we made throughout the course of the week based on game plan, based on, you know, kicking game, based on just overall numbers. We felt like that was the best. You know, we, you know look, we got to make people inactive. And, uh, you know, look, Jordan's competitive. He's done a good job. Um, so, you know, those aren't easy decisions, but you know, we just felt like that was the best move for us, uh, you know, in this particular game with this particular game plan. Um, as far as Noah, obviously we got Byron back. Uh, Noah's playtime decreased a little bit. Um, but I would say, you know, look, we still have a lot of confidence in Noah. Um, he's the first guy in on the perimeter. You know, we talk about nickel and things of that nature. He's, you know, we're not really a nickel per se. He's really a perimeter corner, which makes him, you know, the next guy in for either X or Byron with Nick in there. Um, uh, Nick and Jamal Perry really in there as the nickel, the actual nickel position. Um, I think oftentimes people, you know, may misinterpret that as, you know, Nick's playing over Noah, but they're really two different positions. So um, I just kind of get that, you know, make that clear to everyone. Uh, we have a lot of confidence in Noah. Obviously, we want to put him out there if we didn't. Um, look, he's a young player and he's still ascending. And, uh, you know, Based on game plan, uh, you know, he may play more next week. We'll, we'll just see how this goes. Hey, Brian, wanted to ask about uh, the offensive line. Saw that you moved, started Hunt and moved uh, Jesse over to left tackle. What went into that decision and how did you think the offensive line performed as a whole? Well, I thought, you know, as a whole, they played well. Um, I thought the, you know, pass protection was, you know, against a good front was good. Um, I thought the run game, we really got it going in the second half. I thought they played well overall. Uh, you know, Robert Hunt, this being his first, you know, significant playing time, I thought he, I thought he showed himself well. Um, the moment wasn't too big for him. You know, he and Solomon, you know, they did a good job over on the right side. Um, we just felt like those, that was the best group of, of uh, uh, the best five we could put out there with Jesse, uh, Eric on the left, Ted obviously the center and the two young guys are on the right side. So um, they thought they played well. Um, it's always good to see, you know, a young player get in there and get his first, um, you know, first few snaps in the National Football League. I would say Robert was out there against a very, very good uh, player in Eric Armstead uh, for much of the day. And I thought he, he um, uh, it wasn't too big for him. So look, we just got to continue to improve. I think Steve Marshall's done a really good job with that group. Um, Guys playing different positions, uh, but continuing to play with some consistency, some toughness, um, and uh, and they all bring leadership and energy. I'd say that there's a lot of energy from that group. Brian, uh, two other guys want to ask you about two young players, Tyshawn Render. What the thinking was, and not only elevating him but giving him playing time yesterday on defense, and also what the thinking is with you and Chan on Lynn Bowden. Do you just want to try to slowly incorporate him? Incorporate him more, as it seems. Um, well, Render, uh, you know, I think he's you know, performed well in training camp and done done a good job in practice. Uh, look, with Shaq being down, uh, we needed another end, but we also needed someone, um, you know, with Durham being down, a, a bigger body f from a kicking game standpoint. So there's a lot. Again, there's a lot of things that go into, you know, our decisions that, um, you know. Yeah, you would think, you know, normally that it's just defense and it's just one side of the ball, but, you know, uh, an injury to somebody, you know, on the complete other side of the ball could affect the kicking game. And, you know, we kind of needed some bigger bodies to, to, to fill in some backup roles from that standpoint. And um, that, was, that was why we went with, uh, with Render. Um, as far as Lynn, you know, that really let Chan handle, um, you know, the offensive side of the ball. I mean, obviously I have a little bit of input, but, um, you know, he's got a, a great offensive mind. So, um, you know, as far as how he's going to incorporate Lynn, you know, I know you guys saw the Wildcat. Um, he's still working as a receiver. Again, he's still, you know, fairly new here. Or, I don't know, for six weeks into this with uh, with him being here. So still learning the offense, still learning the nuances of, you know, the techniques at the receiver position. I know he's playing a lot of running back over there in Vegas. So um, this is a work in progress and we'll just uh, – We'll take it one day at a time with him. Um, but Chan's done a good job, um, you know, as far as uh, 
you know, developing players in the past and, and even, and, you know, and now with the young group we've got uh, on the online and on the, at the receiver position, at the running back position. So, you know, he's done a good job and we'll just got to continue to improve and get better. Uh, Brian, I wanted to ask you about two other players. Um, one, if you have uh, in the past few days gotten any more clarity on Austin Jackson's injury and how long it might take. And secondly, uh, if there was any thought given in those last couple of minutes when you had that big lead to possibly getting a few snaps for Tua. Oh, well, Austin, you know, he's on IR. So, uh, you know, the minimum amount of games there is three, three. So again, he's working hard. He's, you know, doing everything he can to, to, to get better and get, get out there as quickly as possible. I mean, like you guys know, I don't like to put timetables on anything, but, you know, when you put someone on the on a, on a, on the IR, I mean, you know, it's at least three games, so uh, it's it's somewhat you know significant. So, without putting a timetable on it, you know, Austin, um, all I can say is, you know, he's really he, he's he's working hard to get back out there, um, and you know, well, like we won't be having him out out to practice for at least another couple of weeks. So, um, that would be the earliest, and if it takes longer, then it takes longer. Um, uh, in regards to the question about putting two in for a for a series at the end, garb like at the end of the game, uh, you know, I just it's not something I was, uh, you know, I'm really thinking about. I don't know, you know, what we really get out of that. In my opinion, um, he gets a couple snaps in game. I'm not sure what we're. I mean, we're running the ball the whole time. Um, you know, if we want to give, give it to him, let him hand the ball off, you know, I guess maybe that'll make some people happy. I just, I don't see any, any real point in that. That's just, you know, my opinion. So, um, look, he's the backup. I mean, I think every week we see quarterbacks go down this, in the league. Uh, you know, it's, it's unfortunate. You never want to see it, but, you know, and look, oh, yeah. I felt terrible for Dak Prescott, you know, seeing that injury. So thoughts and prayers to him. I believe he had a surgery this today. Um, so thoughts and prayers to him. He's a great player. A lot of respect for him. Um, you know, you see guys go down. That saw so the Washington quarterback Kyle Allen um, got hit in the head, and then um, Alex Smith went in. So you see this go on throughout the throughout the league. So look, two was our number two. He's ready. He, he can go in at any moment in the game. Um, and he'll be ready to go when it's time. He's, 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 uh, he's, he'll be ready to go when his time's when his time when his numbers called. I should say. Hey Flo, you guys uh, invested a lot of money in that cornerback position. You know, with X, you know, last year, and then Byron Jones this year. Seemed like them two together. They played their first game. You know, together more than half the game, and they played really well. Is that sort of the potential that you guys see as what you know they can do for your defense? Yeah, I mean, I, th I think the entire defense played well. I mean, it's never just one guy. It's never just two guys. I think um, it's a team game. So I think Josh called a good game. I think D-line played well. I thought, you know, we had a good rush. We mixed the, mixed the you know, the coverages, the man, the zone, the, the blitzes. Uh, they covered well. Uh, so it was a total team effort. And, you uh, you know, they're a big part of it, but, you know, guys like Van Ginkle and Sealer and, you know, Baker, they played well also. Um, Landon Roberts. So, again, it was a team effort. Um, and, uh, you know, that we're, that's what we're, we're going to need, you know, team efforts um, really the rest of the way, uh, especially this week. Um, you know, with a, let's call it a, not a new opponent, but, you know, an opponent we didn't know we were going to get until yesterday afternoon or yesterday morning. So um, we got to do a great job from a preparation standpoint um, as coaches, get that information to the players as soon as we can, and then try to uh, play a total team game uh, against the New York Jets um, next Sunday, offense, defense, special teams.